I don't think things actually appear to me mysterious because in a certain sense, to a child, everything is commonplace and mysterious at the same time. You know, they accept it and yes, there's something, it's sort of there and yet it has strange properties, you see. I think what appealed to me was when I, when it was, I read that there were explanations at a different level which would explain some of these properties. I didn't ask myself, you know, what happens when water melts or something like that, but I read what happened when water melts. I thought, isn't that surprising? You can describe it in that particular way. Ice. Yes. I'm sorry, when ice melts, I beg your pardon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, um, so that one, if you, if you, if I read about how ice melts, I would then look at the phenomena in nature and think, isn't it interesting? You can explain it in that particular way. But I don't think I posed the question: What happens when one goes from the other? There was just so many things in the world, which did this and did that. And it was the realization that they could be explained in a more uniform and simplifying way that I, f I found uh, very appealing. As I think most people do if, they have a d if, they, if it isn't made difficult for them and if it's something they, certainly it's, it helps if it's something they've puzzled about. But, uh, and there after all are some very surprising things. I mean, who would have thought that light and heat and x-rays and radio waves were simply all re electromagnetic radiation of different wavelengths. They all look to have a totally different character, but in fact that phys physics tells us that's not true. It's just, just that, that, that some of them are very high frequency and some are a much lower frequency. And they all travel at the speed of light, in a vacuum anyway. <laughs> So again, those are the great, some of the great unifying principles of science, which are not the ones that you get from ordinary common sense, shall we say. I mean, you could know about radio waves and you could know about light without realizing there was any connection between the two.